to the lighthouse for another of their routine investigations. Ah, that may not be safe. The Ptolemaic authorities seem to be working with the crocodile. It happens every few days. Don't worry. They wouldn't dare touch someone in an official position. Shadia, show Bayek the way to our home. Come on, Uncle Bayek! You can see my house from that roof! Follow me! You are not afraid of heights, are you? <laughs> hey, lead on, little one. I will follow. <laughs> Where did you learn to climb like that? That looks like fun. <laughs> I come up here a lot. Everything looks so beautiful. The people should be happy, but they are not. Don't worry. Your mother and father will look after them. Where is your house? On the hill there. See it? Yes. And soldiers. Thank you, Shadia. You should go back to your mother now. It might get dangerous. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Isen can fight, you know. She will protect me. Stop you! Right there! attack on site here. Find the ledger. Servants tried to barricade the doors. They weren't quick enough. Thought. Shadia wrote this. She has the ledger. And I sent her back to her mother. I have to find Henut before the soldiers get to her. Oh, Shadia. What have you done, little one? You cannot play games with the crocodile.
Have you seen Hanut? Is she here? The soldiers just came and took her to the lighthouse. Young Shadia too. Hanut argued with them, but they would not listen. Something is wrong, isn't it? This has never happened before. Get word to Hotefres. Hurry! Oh, damn all this! Hanut and Shadia are at the lighthouse. I need to get there now! Oh, Neck! Neck! While we go hungry! What have we done? Gods, what have we done? This area is off limits. Oh. Hey, what's the meaning of this? Oh. There's little honor in getting you wretched. Shadia. Shadia.
fight is over. The crocodile has won. The ledger lost. My daughter, my Shadia. He has taken everything from us. He will pay for this. And all those who serve him. None of that will bring Shadia back. No. But at least you'll have the comfort of revenge. We both will. I hope so. I will do anything I can to help you, brother. Has he not been able to tell you anything? Only that there were other men with the soldiers. Large, imposing warriors. One red hair. Bandits? Soldiers? I believe they were gladiators. From the arena in Crocodilopolis. It seems this... This monster uses fighters to do his bidding. I will find this monster, friend. He will die. Running corpses? This is blasphemy. Who did this? Hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, Another dead farmer it gives whose life. family will now lose their land. Eat with thanksgiving. They used to eat at the arms yeah, no of trust in he. But soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. These bones are filthy. What have the villagers been eating? Must have the food stored somewhere. I should have a look around. Game on you. This 
food is rancid. It smells like shit. It is completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. The Lord of Waters may take our souls, but we will all rejoice in the field of reeds. <laughs> the splashing one, who came from the great goddess, he who made the herbage green, Lord of the Nile, Dua Sobek. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes, so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. Wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen, merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you are reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this! We could have worked this! This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more burning.
I see you bear the markings of old Siwa. Is that a real Magi badge? How much would you sell it for? Siwa is my homeland, and it is not for sale. Everything is for sale here. You should visit Valley Market to the east. They have Siwan treasures, not the normal fake stuff. These are real. I would be interested to meet anyone selling genuine Siwan treasures. Are you sure you do not want to sell that badge? No matter. Look for the stall under the bird's nest. You will thank me. Did you hear about that new stall with the treasures from the temple in Siwa? From a temple? Are you crazy? You don't want something stolen from a god? Wait, are they real? Why do you think they are so expensive? I would sell my whole life for an Ankh of Amun. Genuine, but it's a fake and not a very good one. It is not fake, it is real. Would you like? This is your store. Yes, mine. Many unique treasures from faraway Siwa. Not fake, not fake. Have you got anything real? I'm sure these are not your best pieces. What do you mean? These are real. Hmm. More expensive ones at my camp. I can take you. Not far from here. You follow. That Magi badge. Not very good, you know. We have better ones. Would you like? I like this one. These are the treasures of yours. Are they fake as well? I told you. Not fake. Oh. How did you know? My treasures aren't really real, but not fake. My mother has some real ones anyway. Hey, I have a secret. I was once a Magi in Siwa. I've seen the real treasures. Oh, not fair. I made them all myself, you know. No one else can tell. Do not worry. They are very good fakes. I will not tell anyone. I said not fake. Were you really Magi? Maybe you are fake. Ah, <laughs> hey. You're a very cheeky child. Now let's see what your mother has. We go along the canal. You lead. I will fake it. Does not even make sense. Do not be afraid. Lucky for you, I am real. Stay here and keep hidden. I've got a nice sword. Would you like? Who in Hades are you?
take anything you want. As I told them, I do not have any money, but I have many unique treasures from Siwa. Mother, he is not a bandit. He is my friend. Thanks for saving us. I guess you are real. Sorry I said you were fake. He saved us? We have to give him something. We always repay kindness, remember? I've got something. Here. This is a genuine imitation Siwan Kopish. It is very rare. They don't make them anymore. Please, take it with our gratitude. Mother, he already knows. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes, I can tell. This one's really real. There are almost none like it. <laughs> 